This is an internal tool we use here at the grid to test our color algorithm. This is something that AI is going to do for you. So you're never going to be going around and clicking things like I am here and changing these colors. Instead, you'll just slide through possibilities with a slider that's very similar to Instagram. And the grid, when, when you choose a color palette, you're not actually selecting these individual colors like you see on the left. Instead, you upload an image. And whatever colors are in the image, we build palettes out of them. So here, I'm just going to cycle through slightly different variants of the light version. Here's some dark versions. And they're all totally valid and subtle in different ways. So on the grid, you, you might tell the system, I want a very vibrant palette or a very dark palette. And based on what you, you tell it at a very high level, it'll choose one of these palettes for you. Occasionally, we'll apply image filters to make your content conform to your color palette. In the light and the vibrant ones, you get really interesting effects. See even like crazy images like this, it'll still know how to extract the kind of important vibrant colors. So you can see here in this one, it found the red in her lips and it just popped it right. With, with any given set of five colors, we can generate anywhere from five to 10,000 different variations of typographic color palettes, each of which is subtly different, but all valid and all readable. To see how the AI applies this color algorithm in different ways, let's look at a couple sites. So this is Grid Style Sheets. This is the website for one of our developer tools we created. And you'll notice that there's a very strong color palette that's applied through all the content. In fact, it's so strong that it'll take these images and apply filters to ensure that the color palette is, is maintained and consistent. And so this is something that we, what we'd say is the color palette has a very large amount of strength and is very dominant. Now let's look at the grid site. We have this kind of yellow brand color, but as you scroll through the site, you'll notice that there's a lot of other colors coming out. And all these colors are actually extracted from the content itself. So in this sense, the grid's brand color is very is a recessive, weak palette relative to the content color. So the content will actually dictate the colors that you see. And so you'll be able to control this on your site with the slider. You'll say like, you know, I want my colors to be very strong, in which case you might end up something with a set like this where the color palette is dominant throughout the whole site. Or very weak, like, like our site on the grid, where the color, the, where the content actually dictates what colors you're going to see. So again, you see here this blue is extracted from the image. This kind of muted color palette was extracted from here. And there's some really interesting effects, like you see this blue and the yellow, it's kind of like the kind of popped colors you see here. And no matter what, it's always going to be readable, and that's, that's really the hard part. You see some craziness, like this purple, um, this, this tweet, this retweet that we have here from Jason Freed, kind of popped that purple from his avatar. Again, the red from this image. And this is kind of cool, even from a GIF, you see these kind of subtle purple dots, it extracted that and popped it here. So no matter what, the colors are going to look good and it's just a matter of how strongly you want one color palette applied or do you want your colors to be adaptive.